Prior to a few days ago, it seemed like the Hawks were stuck in purgatory with no way out except blowing up their core that got them to a conference finals. Now all of a sudden, the Atlanta Hawks hold the number one overall pick in the 2024 NBA Draft, which makes things a lot easier no matter which direction they go in. Keep a 25-year-old Trey? Great. Trade Trey and DeJounte and build an OKC-esque draft stash? Also great. The Atlanta Hawks have a multitude of directions they can go in, and all paths should lead to greatness. Today I'm going to be discussing the Hawks' future, a few paths they can take, and what these options consist of. Before we get into this, if y'all could like the video, sub to the channel, and hit that noti bell, I would really, really appreciate it. It would help me out a ton. We are closing in on 4K, so if y'all could help us get there, I would really, really appreciate it. And without further ado, let's get right into the video. Before I discuss the many paths this team can take, let's talk about the assets present and what they might yield. To me, this team has five positive player assets. Trey Young, DeJounte Murray, Bogdan Bogdanovich, Onyeka Kongwu, and Jalen Johnson. Jalen Johnson is probably not getting moved, but I think the rest will at least be in trade conversations. This is where we discuss the paths I see for Atlanta. Let's run through them. Number one, trade Trey, DeJounte, and Bogdan and go full rebuild. Number two, keep Trey, trade DeJounte, and potentially others and go forward building around Trey, Jalen Johnson, and likely Alexander Saar. Number three, trade Trey and keep DeJounte. This one's a bit weird, but could happen to give presumably Saar a floor general still while trading Trey. Number four, keep Trey and DeJounte and make supplemental moves to build around them, Jalen, and your number one pick. And number five, which I highly, highly doubt happens, trade number one for a solidified star and continue to go for it right now. You could also trade down and get assets for a rebuild, but I bet if they trade one, it would be for a star. I really only think the first two are realistic options, so I'm going to dive into those. In my opinion, I think these are your two best options as well. First, I want to discuss the prospect of going full rebuild. This would have to involve trading Trey and specifically trading him to San Antonio for your picks back and probably their number 8 overall pick. While I am not against keeping Trey, as players like him don't grow on trees, I am not against this path either, should the package somewhat resemble what I just said. To match salary, the Hawks also likely receive either Keldon Johnson or Zach Collins, plus the expiring money of Devontae Graham. The Hawks would also receive, as I said, the number 8 overall pick, as well as their picks in 2025 and 2027, plus their swap rights in 2026. I guess the number 4 pick could be in play here, but I'm just going to look at everything conservatively. This trade would allow the Hawks to draft a third franchise cornerstone, likely a guard to put alongside JJ and, you know what, I'm done saying supposedly Saar, just keep in mind that I am strongly assuming Saar will be the pick for the rest of this video. The Hawks would also get control of their picks back, allowing for a full rebuild. Now is when we start building OKC East. We are going to do this by trading DeJounte Murray and Bogdan Bogdanovich. These are just a couple examples that will display the estimated value of those two, whether these are the destinations or not. My DeJounte Murray trade proposal will involve him heading to the Lakers for Austin Reeves, Gabe Vincent, and a protective first round pick. I hate to be the one to break the news to some Hawks fans, but DeJounte's value is probably the equivalent of two firsts, which this trade return is. I know Austin Reeves is overhyped by Laker fans, but I actually love his fit with this rebuild. He can be a combo guard and he's coming off averaging an efficient 16, 4, and 6 and is on a steal of a contract and is still only 25 years old. Again, this is just one proposal, but I feel that it displays DeJounte's current value. While I would not be opposed to more trades, the final example I'm going to give in this scenario is going to be for Bogdan Bogdanovich. I expect Clint Capella to be on the move as well, but I'm not sure exactly what that trade will look like for the Hawks, and it definitely won't be bringing in any significant assets. My proposed trade for Bogey is trading him to Philly for a first and two seconds. I love what he brings to the table, but he is 31 years old and the Hawks should look to capitalize on him now. Now for the next scenario, keeping a still 25-year-old Trey Young and building around him, Jalen Johnson, and Alex Saar. I like this idea as well because if you do go for a full rebuild, it is unlikely that you get another number one pick, as we see with teams like Detroit getting fifth three times despite being the worst or second worst team. Players like Trey don't come around all that often as I said, and you lucked into a number one pick while keeping him. If you want to enter the Cooper flag sweepstakes, fine, but this path could be good as well. In this scenario, you would still likely make some moves, just maybe not the ones I specified. I think Alex Caruso would be an example of a great target should this path be chosen, and similar connectors who could help your core of Trey, Jalen Johnson, and Saar compete. It may take this team a year or two to really get going, but when they fully do it could be scary. Also for the time being, this team would probably be in and around the play-in, leaving room for some level of excitement with a very young core. 
No matter what the Atlanta Hawks do with the assets they have, they should have a bright future ahead of them. Again, it's just so funny how the draft lottery can take a team from no man's land to real excitement. That's going to wrap this one up. If y'all enjoyed it, please like it up, sub the channel, and hit that noti bell. Comment down below what are your thoughts on what the Hawks should do. Again, that, you know, crazy, crazy luck into this number one pick. I'm highly assuming that the pick will be Alexander Saar and that that is the correct pick. But yeah, I mean, once again, comment down below your thoughts on, you know, wh what the Hawks should do. Again, if you want to trade Trey and get your picks back, fine. But I don't think trading Trey anywhere else would be a good idea because you do not have your picks. But yeah, that's going to officially wrap this one up. Once again, if y'all enjoyed it, please like it up, sub the channel, and I'm out. Peace.